Hello everyone, this is Andres Restart, and this time we're talking about how both Nintendo and Pokemon Company are furious when it comes to PAL World. They are finally seeking compensation for the damages that they believe PAL World has brought them. Why is that exactly? Well, some people might say it has to do with PAL World essentially being Pokemon with guns, which would ruin their brand image, or at least that's something that Nintendo and Pokemon Company would be concerned for. However, PAL World came out earlier this year and nothing happened immediately. We were simply told that they would be looking into it, and now they are clearly seeking damages here, but it's not for copyright, but for patent infringement. So what's going on? Well, that's what we're diving further into today. But before going forward, let me ask that if you do enjoy my content, to please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And now, here is a brief message about today's sponsor. Snaxi is the ultimate Android gaming mobile app where you can earn incredible rewards from over 100,000 options while playing your favorite mobile games. And it also helps publishers acquire new users. Every gaming session with Snaxi is rewarding, with over 100,000 items like gift cards, game skins, and in-game coins. Integrate Snaxi into your routine for non-stop gaming, personalized recommendations, generous rewards, and frequent content updates. For more on the Snaxi app, check out the link in the description below. So late last night or early this morning, Nintendo put this out. September 19th, 2024, to whom it may concern, the Pokemon company, Nintendo. Filing Lawsuit for Infringement of Patent Rights Against Pocket Pair Inc. Nintendo, Representative Director and President Shudoro Furukawa, together with the Pokemon Company, filed a patent infringement lawsuit in the Tokyo District Court against Pocket Pair on September 18th, 2024. This lawsuit seeks an injunction against infringement and compensation for damages on the grounds that PAL World a game developed and released by the defendant infringes multiple patent rights. Nintendo will continue to take necessary actions against infringement of its intellectual property rights including the Nintendo brand itself to protect the intellectual properties it has worked so hard to establish over the years. And with this final line here it sort of tells us exactly why Nintendo does these things. Nintendo is extremely protective of their characters, their IP, their brand. They feel this is what makes them special, or at least a big part of it, and I agree. So that is why they're so protective. And when you take a look at Power World, this game that has been touted as Pokemon with guns, the designs look so much like Pokemon. So much so that many feel that it's not strongly inspired from Pokemon, but straight up copying a great deal of elements. But what you might have noticed is interesting about what's being said here, they are filing a lawsuit for infringement of patent rights, not copyright. And taking a quick look at the difference of definitions here, a patent protects inventions and new processes. Copyright protects original works of authorship and artistic works in a tangible form. So many would have thought that Nintendo would be seeking copyright infringement here because clearly the Power World creatures are taking a lot from Pokemon and people have shown different pieces of imagery that show that it looks like they are straight up copying literal parts of the builds for these different creatures. However, while we may be able to look at a lot of different Pokemon and Power World creatures and see how there's clearly some very, very strong similarities, everything is changed around somewhat, and they may be changed around just enough to the point where they can't really take them down for copyright. But it appears Nintendo may have found something when it comes to patents. Which we'll get into, but before I do, I want to go over Pal World's response, or rather, Pocket Pair. Pocket Pair. Regarding the lawsuit. Yesterday, a lawsuit was filed against our company for patent infringement. We have received notice of this lawsuit and will begin the appropriate legal proceedings and investigations into the claims of patent infringement. At this moment, we are unaware of the specific patents we are accused of infringing upon and we have not been notified of such details. Pocket Pair is a small indie game company based in Tokyo. Our goal as a company has always been to create fun games. We will continue to pursue this goal because we know that our games bring joy to millions of gamers around the world. 
PAL World was a surprise success this year, both for gamers and for us. We were blown away by the amazing response to the game and have been working hard to make it even better for fans. We will continue improving PAL World and strive to create a game that our fans can be proud of. It is truly unfortunate that we will be forced to allocate significant time to matters unrelated to game development due to this lawsuit. However, we will do our utmost for our fans and to ensure that indie game developers are not hindered or discouraged from pursuing their creative ideas. We apologize to our fans and supporters for any worry or discomfort that this news has caused. As always, thank you for your continued support of Power World and Pocket Pair. So, just my own personal take here, this paragraph right here, it feels almost like a call to action. They are talking about how it is unfortunate for them, and this is taking away from their small indie developer selves and being able to make great games. I think they are trying to fuel the fires here. I think they are trying to get people to feel bad for them, and they want people to see that this is big Nintendo going against a small indie game company. But what I do find interesting about this, which kind of feels like a little bit of a duality, is that they also say here, we will continue to pursue this goal because we know that our games bring joy to millions of gamers around the world. If you're a small indie game company that's in need of protection against the big bad giant corporation, you being able to reach millions of gamers, that sounds a little bit against that thinking. However, I will say that I'm not necessarily trying to pick sides here. If Nintendo feels that they have found something that's worth pursuing, they will pursue it, and if in court it is found that they do deserve compensation for damages and such, then that's what it is. And if not, then that's what it is. What I am more curious on is what exactly Nintendo has found. Because we can take a look at these different posts about Power World versus Pokemon here. Jaro shows these different images here, and we can see that they clearly borrowed like proportions for these creatures like that much is clear they simply kind of just added different elements on top or behind or and things of that nature slightly morphed them around but the similarities are, are clear they may have literally taken the models and then built upon them but then i guess the question is is that actually illegal it might be frowned upon but is it actually illegal and can they find enough proof to actually file for copyright infringement here and well nintendo isn't filing for copyright infringement they're filing for patent infringement well it looks like polygon may have found something here that makes a lot of sense so here they read from this patent in a first mode an aiming direction in virtual space is determined based on the second operational input and a player character is caused to launch in the aiming direction an item that affects a field character disposed on a field in the virtual space based on a third operation input. In a second mode, the aiming direction is determined based on the second operation input, and the player character is caused to launch in the aiming direction, a fighting character that fights based on the third operational input. They may have been a little hard to understand, but basically, they're looking at the catching mechanics that we've seen in the more recent Pokemon games. The one that mostly comes to mind to me is Pokemon Legends Arceus, and when I think about how now Pokemon's in 3D and they have these new catching mechanics working in a 3D environment with the Pokemon moving around and reacting accordingly, that is something that I felt we saw in Power World. When playing the game, I did feel like mechanically, the catching mechanics were very, very similar to Legends Arceus. So maybe the case that they took a deeper look into this and they found that, yeah, Power World or Pocket Pair straight up took the same sort of mechanics from Legends Arceus and use them to create the catching mechanics in Power World. And it's there that Nintendo may legitimately have some actual claim to patent infringement here. Now they do say multiple patents here. This one we're talking about here seems to fit and make sense, but there are others. And what I have to wonder is maybe Nintendo has realized that they can't actually get them for copyright because while it is clear that there is great inspiration so much so they probably did copy some elements and build on top of it it's something that they can't really prove in court but what they might be able to prove is infringement of different patents like this catching mechanic and perhaps they found others and they're simply going to argue them all and hope that at least some of them stick to at least 
show that Pocket Pair and Power World have done Nintendo wrong here, send a message, and make some effort to get compensation for damages. I am in no way a legal expert, but it does sound like there may be a bit of a strategy here. You might not get everything, but shoot for a lot, get a little, that way you at least get something. This makes some sense. But what do you think? What do you make of Nintendo and Pokemon going after Pocket Pair, the makers of Pal World? Let me know in the comments below. This is Andres Restart. Thank you so much for listening and watching, and I'll see you all really soon. Take care. Bye.